We're back here on Blitz. I'm Brian Carter. Next to me right now is Ashley Lowry, the junior star running back here at White County High School. Ashley, we're glad to have you on the show. You had a stellar season this year, gaining over 1,100 yards of offense and 12 touchdowns. But with all that success, how did you how did you meet up to your expectations going into the year as a team and as an individual? Well, coming into the year as a team, we all had planned out going to the playoffs and getting back there, winning the game in the playoffs and like making history for our school. And like the coaches' expectations and everything were set really high. And long as we got better every week, we knew we didn't have anything to worry about. And then like everything just like kind of came down at once. And we lost those two big games, and we really needed to win them, and we came out short again. So. Yeah, two years in a row now, you barely miss out, just barely miss out on the state playoffs, and that has to be tough for you. How, uh, what are your feelings on that? It's got to be kind of bittersweet with a great season and then coming up just short. Well, being one of the better teams in the region, I think we should have made it anyway because we were better than a couple of the teams that got in. But that just means we have to come out harder next year and – get back in the grind of things and do what, do everything we're asked 100% full speed. Now you play both sides of the ball very well, your defensive back and also obviously the running back, and you play both at a very high level. Um, which do you tend to focus on more, your offense or your defense? I really don't choose which side to focus on, but when I'm on that at that position in the game, I just play my hardest at both sides and do my job and know everybody else is going to do theirs and the coaches make the right calls and everything so we can – have a good game and stay in, come out with a win. Now you're also a basketball standout here for the Warriors, uh, for the basketball team, and just days away from opening up your season there on the hardwood. Um, you play both sports at a, at a pretty high level as well. Which one do you find more satisfying? I think I like football more because just like being out here on Friday nights in front of a crowd full of people, it just can't get any better than that. And it just keeps everything going for you and makes you that much better and make you want to stay in school and you know you're going to miss everything when you're done with it. So. Is it tough for you making that switch from football and going straight into basketball? Uh, well, not really because we're in such good shape in football, but it's like kind of different making the transition, but everything's pretty much the same. You just find everything after about a couple of days of being out there. So. So you don't face any problems being able to go full swing playing four quarters of basketball from from the gridiron? Not really. I mean, everything's pretty much the same. I mean, four quarters on both sides, football and basketball. Basketball is shorter, and it's indoors. That's the only difference, really. I mean, because you're gonna give 100% in both sports. So. Now you've been a star athlete here at White County a few years, and also you've done very well in the classroom. Uh, doing both, it's, it can't be easy. And uh, do you face any problems as it comes to being a uh, student athlete? Well, not really. You just got to buckle down and work hard. And you know, and you're being an athlete too, so you're representing everybody and like the community and what you do. So you just have to work hard and study and do everything right and like not goof off in class. So. You have the grades, and then you're the athlete too, so the coaches don't have anything to worry about or anything. So now, uh, when it comes to, I, li I like to ask this question to every athlete I get to interview, uh, just for fun. Uh, when it comes to, to basketball or football, do you have any superstitions at all? Not really. I just, I mean, if we if we play a good game, I'll probably I'll wear like the same stuff the next couple games or something. But other than that. It doesn't matter. It's just how you come out and perform that night. It's not really what you wear or anything. How you look, it's just how you come out and perform and do your best, and it all comes from the heart. Yeah. Now, Ashley, at this time, we would like to award you as the Blitz Football Player of the Year with this plaque. Uh, this is for you gaining over 1,100 yards of total offense and 12 touchdowns. You had an outstanding season, and we hope for the next year and a half that we see you uh, star both on the basketball court and on the football field. And we, uh, we just want to thank you for being on the show, and, and you've been uh, quite exciting to watch this year on the football field. Thank you. It's a real honor. I appreciate it. And I owe all to the coaches for making me work harder. When I was down, they pushed me more. So thank you. You're welcome, and thank, uh, thank you again for being on the show, and good luck uh, during basketball season as well. Thank you. When we come back, we'll be at Habersham Central High School with head basketball coach Don Ledbetter. Don't go anywhere.